Um, well, uh, Quando Rondo's homeboy mm -hmm. was arrested. Yeah. You know, for the for the murder of King Von, and uh, he uh, you know gets arrested, and uh, not too long ago he bonded out. Yeah. And um, you know, Quando Rondo recently released an interview giving his side of the story. Did you see it? Parts of it? When he was in the uh, car with Angela Yee. Yep. Yeah, I seen it. I, well, I seen one part of it. I don't know how many parts of this. You know, he says he was there with his brother and, you know, seen a group of people walking towards him and, you know, someone just hit him. He says, uh, you know, he was surprised by the situation. Then he kind of says, you know, he had an outer body experience and, when he came to, he seen his brother shot on the ground. You know, um, what did you think about all that? I don't know, man. Like, I swear to God, like, for I, 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 I be just looking at everything like, man, this shit. What the fuck is niggas talking about? <laughs> like, I feel like, bro, like, on some real 100 shit, it ain't even no point of that. Like, it ain't no point of that. Like, bro, once you, once a nigga die, it ain't no point of trying to smooth things over or get your side of the story or, you feel me? Because it's like, none of that shit is gonna matter. You feel me? Like, it ain't even no point of looking weak. You feel me? Ain't no point of getting on that. Man, woo, woo, woo. It ain't no point of that. You feel me? Because Regardless of whatever the story is, and even whatever a motherfucker feel like they gravitating toward, it's at the end of the day, niggas out here gotta bear that loss, and that loss means it's for life. For, for life, you feel me? Rather a motherfucker agree with why it was done or why what they did it or not, it's for it's for well. You feel me? So ain't no point of trying to, man. Ooh, I don't know about this and that and. I never had a problem. Well, you got a problem now, bro. And it's for life. You feel me? So ain't no point of, you feel me, going on these interviews and talking about it and none of that. You feel me? Because that shit just going to make a motherfucker, you feel me, like, look at it, shit. Niggas weak. You feel me? Like, nigga trying to get their story out and get sympath and trying to make people sympathize. You feel me? What? Well, I'm not saying that that's why he doing it, but that's what it looked like he doing it. You feel me? Like, so a motherfucker look at it like that and say, well, yo, well, you trying to get some sympathy or something, boy. A motherfucker ain't sympathizing with you. You feel me? And you just going to look weak, and you still going to have the same obstacles and ops when you done with that interview. So with me, like once 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 it's up and it's stuck, and once a nigga dies, it's stuck. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't no point of... Interview is just your own step, huh? You gonna have to step behind this shit for life. You feel me? All the interviews and, and trying to get your story across, it ain't never gonna matter to the people who lost. You feel me? They gonna never matter to the motherfuckers who, who took that ill. You feel me? It'll never be a day where you ain't gonna have to face the problems or the consequences from this situation. So, it ain't no point of even talking about it or trying to get sympathy from it. You know, here's the part that I found hard to believe is that, you know, and he even put this on Neighborhood Crip and he said he didn't even know it was Vaughn till the next day. <laughs> and and they, they were on the ground for at least 30 or 40 seconds, you know, uh, after the shooting happened. And I, you know, I was like, I, I didn't really understand, you know what I'm saying? Like how, until the next day? Yeah, like the next day? Like you mean to tell me a motherfucker died and, and and you got punched all in your shit and all type of shit happening and you ain't even know who the fuck, what the fuck this situation came from till the next day. He hit you that hard, huh? That's the out of body <laughs> experience you was talking about. He must have closed your ass for the night. He must have, <laughs> folks shit instantly closed. He bust. <laughs> Folks gave his ass the first two to bitch close his eyes. He ain't see nothing till the next day. <laughs> That's from what he's talking about. That's how that sounds. Yeah, it sounds like folk gave his ass a two piece quick. Close both of them bitches. Now you get hit in your nose right here, black both of your shit. He must have hit folks in the nose, crashed them. Broke his shit, put black eyes in both his shit. Folks couldn't see nothing. He woke up the next day, felt out. 
That's that's the type of shit why I say it ain't no point of speaking on it because it's like when you say shit like that, it's just like it don't help your case because this don't even sound believable. Like 